Uh, my name is Miwa Tohu. I'm from Myanmar and I came to Japan to join PhD course last two years ago. So now I'm a great PhD student. Now I'm joining to Department of Oral Pathology and Medicine at Alabama University. Hello, Miguel. My name is Aoyama. Uh, I came here last six months ago and I'm working at the Department of the Rehabilitation and Regenerative Medicine. Now I'm a first year PhD student. Since uh, my country is a developing country, so the research uh, techniques and also the training center is not uh, well established. So it is uh, difficult to learn uh, the research techniques and also learn uh, other research fields. So I heard some of the many seniors are learning in Okama University. So it is better to take a chance to study here. So I came here to study for more research uh, development uh, because Okama University offers higher education system. So it's better to learn here. That's why I choose it. Japan has many famous places to visit and also the food and there are many places to enjoy so it's better to explore, that's why. Now I'm doing the research about oral cancer. As we know that cancer is a life threatening and very challenging disease for mm -hmm. our hand mankind. And so all of the doctors and scientists are trying to find out how to cure the disease and how to improve our treatment methods and also how to improve our quality of life of the patients even after the treatment. And so I'm also one of them. And I thought, exactly, I am studying about the microenvironment of the cancers and deeply I am exploring to the molecular levels of the relationships of cancer cells and the host cells of the body. I'm also doing the research about the kind of stem cell and also my subject is the concern with the implantology. I'm also trying to improve the mesenchymal stem cell related to the implantology. And I also work in the other department, which is the molecular biology and biochemistry department. In that department, I also use, uh, used to learn about uh, some uh, modern research techniques like IC staining and other RNA and DNA cells. So it is good to do research. Sure, it will be the tough or stressful to live in a foreign country as a foreign student. For me too, before I came here, I was very nervous and anxious to live alone and steady in a foreign country. But after coming here, I met with the members of the department and all the kinds and very helpful and so all of those anxieties uh, were faded away and every day of my student life became fine. Uh, the first thing that I was uh, worried about is the, the communication, language barrier. Language barrier is a very huge problem for all of the foreign students. And uh, but because of the help of the members of my departments, I got a very warm and joyful atmosphere and warm welcome. They warm welcome to me, and they make me to uh, communicate with them very easy and comfortable and. It, not only in English, even in Japanese, but they taught me how to talk in Japanese and so now it's, there is no any difficulties to communicate with them and also other Japanese people. So. The second thing is I worried about my journey of learning. Uh, because uh, as also said, uh, our country is uh, developing countries and so research is not so popular and so I, I am the very very beginner to do the research and so uh, I worried about can I do in full of ability to do the research or something but my supervisor helped me a lot and he, he taught me in detail all the things and so I can do it I can do all the things that I need to uh, uh, apply in my research and so my study is also became easy going and comfortable and Before I came here, I studied about for one year. So I sit in and uh, for two levels, and I mean, and five and then four. And so yeah, basic knowledge of Japanese.
Yes, 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 yes. Especially uh, the lab technician. Uh, she helped me to speak in Chinese, and so we talked a lot. Since I'm a partial scholarship stu uh, student and also the private finance student, so I got a partial scholarship from Jackson Scholarship, uh, yes, which is recommended by the OJ Foundation. How can I say in Myanmar, uh, I got the contact with the OJ to get the information about the partial scholarship, and they trying to help me to get the partial scholarship. Uh, so I got the partial scholarship, and also when I got here. When I reached here, uh, I also applied for the tuition fee exemption. The tuition fee exemption offers uh, twice a year. Every student can apply. So it is, uh, it is very good for private finance students to get the tuition fee exemption and also get the partial scholarship like JESO. Mm, for me, uh, in the future, I also want to try like Osaka uh, scholarship and also Mitsubishi International scholarship. Those uh, those scholarships are very good chance to get the uh, to um, how can I say to get the student to learn more easily without uh, worrying about the financial situations. Definitely, um, the COVID nineteen situation is a very hardship and challenging to all of us and also our society. Uh, for example the living, the economy, and also our education. So during the COVID-19, uh, all the situations were purposely uh, occurring and uh, all of the timing and arrangement became uh, that's right. And But because of the Japanese government and the management of the university, uh, all the situations became kind of peaceful. Uh, all the efforts and the prompt actions that taken by the government, Japanese government and our university is very um, effective. And so um, we all are safety and uh, we don't have uh, any uh, anxious anxiety to live. Uh, for the during the pandemic time, all the some areas we are restricted to camp uh, to prevent the infection, and so we don't have uh, for two weeks or three weeks we don't have to, we cannot camp to university. At the time we have to stay at home and we have to learn at home and we have to communicate with our uh, teachers uh, via online system. And at the time our university established the online class system, and so. Yeah, actually, online class system is uh, will be the difficult for the students for the first time uh, for the various reasons. That but because of the teachers and uh, administrative staff management, um, all the situations became convenient in that. So first of all, we would like to appreciate to those students who are willing and trying to uh, study in Japan. And uh, the most important thing is uh, planning and time management. Uh, actually, uh, to go to a foreign country and to study, it's not an easy work. Uh, we have to pay much enough time to prepare, and uh, we have we should have the strong mind to. Proceeds our procedure, and so well, first of all, I would like to say that please make a well time management and well prepared before you come here. So. Yeah. And secondly, uh, research proposal is very important. Before you come here, you should prepare the research proposal. Because, because uh, the university, in order to get the PhD or MSc program, you need to submit the research proposal. So, a research proposal means uh, you need to learn more about the subject and you need to read a lot, so it takes time. So, it is better to do research proposal before applying to the university. So, take time and do the research proposal first. And lastly, I think 
we should learn more and explore before we are getting old. So enjoy and explore while we are young. So it is good to try to live in other country to stay. ไว้ประเภทเราไปนะมันอาจจะมาเฉยๆเนาะเปลี่ยนเส้นเต็มมาเลยตะเกียงเราเราแม่อันนี้ตรงดักเน็ตดักเน็ตเราเนาะลีล